everyone. We're on our July 2022 road trip and today's a travel day where we're going from one destination to another. And on those days, we like to stop at roadside attractions and interesting places along the way on the road. So today we figured, since we're visiting so many new theme parks and amusement parks around the country, that we would stop at the theme park of grocery stores, Jungle Gyms. And there are two Jungle Gyms locations, but this is the original. It goes back to 1971, so it's celebrating a 51 year anniversary this year. It's known for having really beautiful, elaborate displays, animatronics, and a huge selection of international food. Sam's especially excited to check out the UK and English food section. And I'm just excited to see all the cool theming and displays. Right on here in the parking lot, we've got some produce, nice. And then here, at this entrance, we're being greeted by a big jungle scene here. A big waterfall. Wow, look at these seats. There are multiple entrances and the complex is huge. I like all the different languages here. Thank you. Oh wow, you are being recorded for a Jungle Gyms podcast. That's cool. We're listening to that. Yeah, I'll be in the Jungle Gyms podcast. Just a random Caddyshack display here. Maybe it's not random, but it's funny. So we're at the giraffe entrance. I, I think we gotta remember that. Okay, already a lot of things everywhere. The idea machine. There are Disney characters in antique cars. We've got some Harry Potter uh, carousel thing going on here. We've got a whole Star Wars shelf. Oh, a huge Funko. Okay, so this is a toys and collectibles section. Wow. I, I didn't expect that, did you? I had no expectations and I mean, <laughs> wow, look at all these Funkos. Look at the big Funko Batman up there. Yeah, it's funky. <laughs> this must be where they're recording the podcast or where they record it. This looks like a radio station. WJJI Jungle Gym. It's a cool setup. Secret Jungle Gym's Jelly Tunnel. Cool. So he just said it's like if uh, Willy Wonka and Walt Disney had a grocery store. <laughs> All right. Definitely a wacky way to start and lots of very unique games too that you don't see everywhere like This is a, a very unique selection Seinfeld, Seinfeld clue. clue what I like those circus posters. There's like a whole little spooky horror section here Beetlejuice cards Ghostbusters pops. Oh my gosh cool very very neat things like there's a lot of stuff in here I've never seen anywhere else. We could spend all day in just this section. The next section here, it's like a cookware section, but there's this display case full of action figures. From every franchise you could think of. Oh, and some Brito Disney. There's an ice cream place in here. Welcome Cincy. I thought this vault was just like a themed thing, but it's an actual bank in here. It's just if something's gonna go in jungle gyms, it's gotta be well themed. I wanna use a bank that's behind a giant bank vault. Huge pet section. And then we've got a race car up here. And we've got like the crowd in the stadium and the stands up there. I smell food. Lodge cast iron. Who's cooking? Who's cooking? Ooh, that smells so good though. They're cooking too. I will eat every single thing here. Original Jungle Gyms building, 1974. Look at this big piece of corn here. This animatronic is sleeping. So I know there are animatronics in here, so I'm sure we'll see some that are awake. Oh, here's a working animatronic. Campbell's Soup, mm-mm, good. Gerber's Amish Farm, that's neat. Oh, candy. Yeah, me too. They must have some stairs back there to reach it and then a big wizard watching over it. The big cheese, I love cheese. So there's a cooking school. One of the things I read is that they're famous for, you can take cooking classes here. Look, there's a whole like second floor up there. A whole wall of Pez dispensers. Game of Thrones, Harry Potter, Frozen, Pokemon, Marvel, DC, E.T. 
The Office, of course. Bonkers. Look at the Care Bears ones. Gotta have Mickey Mouse. Oh, he's out of order too. Normally, apparently, he goes every five minutes. I've got the M&M gang too. We're on the candy wall. Very appropriate. We've got like old photos up here of rides. To Bill Jill. Oh, there's a Starbucks in here, cool. Hold on, let's see. Let me make sure no one's in here. Okay, so this is a trick. It looks like it's gonna be a porta potty, but actually, it's a big, luxurious, lovely restroom. No one's in here. It's huge. How funny. <laughs> That's cool. And then here, of course, you gotta have a couple of pinball machines. Got some Jurassic Park, some Star Trek, the newer one. Just, you know, just part of the scene. Jungle Gym's reserve cellar. Oh, and there's like art and newspaper clippings up there about wine and all sorts of things. And like wine bottle holders, wacky ones. Oh, Marilyn with her iconic dress blowing in the breeze. We're not gonna look up her dress, that's just rude. Neat. Open to the public, see wine host. Just gonna peek in. This is truly a wine cellar. It feels cold in here. You can see they have very fancy bottles. Cool lighting. Look at all the taps they've got up here. Ah, okay, so here's the cooking school, I guess. Look, we got duck, we got gator, we got elk. It smells so good. Now I suddenly smell cookies, cake, sweet everything. Photo op in the produce aisle? Yes, I think I will. Go like mushroom, a big carrot, huge frozen section, and they've got penguins guarding it. So don't worry, they're keeping things cold in here. Oh, wow, huge honey section. So cute. Maple trees only produce an average of 10 gallons of sap each season. I love a good scarecrow. It's a little bit of a summery scarecrow with sunflowers. After the fall juice oasis. Huh. The gluten-free section is massive, says largest gluten-free selection in the Midwest. And there's like kind of a hippie section. We got a bicyclist up here. A little mushroom string thing little buddhas and sprays sage incense oh it smells really good <sighs> look around it's a lot soda of the month cheer wine some giraffes here here it looks like the international food section starts i know there's more than this a whole little haribo display and then we've got all these like little facades here ireland and france the Jungle Gym story. It looks like a movie marquee, but there's nowhere to go to watch a story. I guess the whole store is the story. But there's like whole <laughs> facades built in here. Oh wow, Spain, Greece. These are beautifully made. So many great details in here. Wow, very impressive. And up here they've got like a little band playing kosher products. Like a Mexican section. Wow. Oh, wow, piñatas. That's a big tree. Oh, look at these wooden carved elephants. Sherwood Forest, it's cool. Sherwood Forest. I see them now, but like over here. That's gotta be little John and Robin. Okay, I feel that's like cool. some good treasure here. Yeah, what have you gotten so far? So far, after eight minutes. Mm. Mm. There's where we just came through. This whole area is a huge international section. <laughs> that is quite a tree. <laughs> we even got the arrows with the apple. Sword in the stone. Wow, that's really cool. Oh, <gasps> treasure. If you look up, must be Maid Marian over here. Every time I turn around, there's just more. Got Asia, India, Mexico, Great Britain, Nepal. 
Monster Munch. Oh my god, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Digestives, Monster Munch, Crunchies. Oh boy. And that's just the things I could carry. Look at all the tea. Yeah. Ooh. Dodgers. Oof. I am beyond excited. <laughs> I'm so happy you found it. I know you were looking for a lot of this stuff. We are both very sad that we don't have anything like this really in Florida. Rawr! What we got over here? Live harvest? Live fish is real hard work. Look at these cool facades. That's so pretty. My new favorite place. <laughs> They've got a big section of hot sauces and then a fire truck up here to put out the fire when your mouth is burning from all the hot duck eggs, kimchi, tofu, bean bread, more international favorites. It goes on and on. There is so much for really I think good prices. Shark up here, a boat. There's so much everywhere. This is the other side of the display we saw from over there. And then this is the seafood section. You don't often see little characters of these cereal brands, do ya? It's so huge. They all kind of talk to you about jungle gyms. They also have live lobster and stuff in tanks, seafood stations. Popeye, he eats a spinach. Ooh, oh dear. Oh, here's just a 50 caliber Mark 7 gun. Huh. It's from a battleship here. It connects to this boat up here. Tackle shop. Tattoo parlor, so it's a whole like beachy theme up here to match with the seafood section. This is barber shop and like a shoe shining thing. Whoa. Customer service, a post office, trophies and stuff. Okay, we're gonna go out this way, but there's still more to see. We're gonna come out through. We came in over there. So cool. That giraffe's having a little sip of water. Got some hand sanitizer, and everything we got was super reasonably priced, like twenty dollars for a bag of stuff you got. Bag of British goodies. Yeah. Ever had Monster Munch? I don't know. It says flaming hot though. Then that's deliciously hot. <laughs> okay, yeah, Monster Munch is delicious, and it's not spicy. <laughs> Circle the jungle for more stores. They did add more stores to this, make it like a strip mall type of a thing. But this is the original Jungle Gyms. A lot of construction going on back here. This. This is the other part of the store with the monorails. And these were originally bought from King's Island. I'm going to check this out. I heard it was called the Austin Station because that was Jungle Gym's middle name. Really? Yeah. Oh, cool. Here's a strip mall. Truckers, the backbone of America. It's true. It really is true. Like, the whole supply chain here really strongly depends on truckers. So thank you truckers for all your work for us. All right, let's check out the expansion. In the late 90s, Jungle Gyms purchased the former Lion Country Safari monorail trains from Kings Island where we just were yesterday. So they made this jungle themed station with this giant snake up here. However, it does look like it is closed for a private event. So we won't be able to ride the monorail today, but let's see if we can just check it out a little bit. Oh my gosh, what do they have down here? It's chained up. Don't mess with that. I don't see anything going on. Oh, I wish we could ride the monorails. Apparently they were meant to go all the way around, but they never did, so they just go like part of the way. It does look like it's now an event center and that's the way it is. Oh look, even the pipe up here is like a snake too. That's so cool. We can't check out more of the Oscar station, but we can at least walk around in this outside area. Nothing's going on out here. And it's really cool to just see the monorail. Like it's really retro looking, really old school theme park looking. But we're gonna continue driving. We're in Ohio. I'm sure you can guess where we're going next. We did Kings Island yesterday. But on the way there, we'll see what cool things there are to see. Let's just take a little look at the monorail. 
neat. There are like little mirrors hanging, owl. I think they use those to keep other types of birds away. Neat. Well, all right, let's hit the road and see what there is to see out there. We love driving on the roads of America. We are kind of sticking to the Midwest on this trip. So we're kind of like going further and further out each trip. It does take a lot of planning to do these trips, booking all the hotel rooms, buying all the tickets, but we will keep on venturing out further and further with each trip. But there's still a lot to go on this one, so let's go. So if the monorail was running, it would go all around, all the way around to the other side of the store. And that would be so neat. We really wanted to ride it with a little snail. But perhaps next time, we'll surely be back up this way to visit. Just had a quick stop at a rest stop and got some iced tea and also some ginger soda. I, I usually like ginger soda a lot. I've never tried this one. We picked up this travel atlas. I pick one up any rest stop or road stop or whatever that we go to. And right there's Carrie. That's where we're going. How cool. And it's time for Albanese, my favorite road trip gummy bears. If you've ever seen any of my road trip videos, you know these are the gummy bears. As soon as you open the bag, the whole car fills up with this delicious, fresh, fruity smell. It smells so good and they taste so good. In half a mile, take the Ohio 103 North exit to Armfields as far as the eye can see. Continue on Ohio 103 E. Carry out, get it? Turn right onto East Findlay. You have arrived. We've made a stop in the town of Cary, Ohio. Since it was kind of on the way, we decided to stop here because Cary, Ohio has become a very important place in the lore of Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Orlando. Since one of the creators of Halloween Horror Nights is from this town, it's been used as a springboard for the imagination and many of the characters, houses, backgrounds, and lore of Halloween Horror Nights. It's developed over the years, takes place in the fictional town of Cary, Ohio that is based on or loosely based on or at least named after the actual Cary, Ohio and we decided we're gonna have a look about the town. It's really cute. Lots of people everywhere, pretty architecture so we're just gonna check it out. We parked and we're just kind of strolling around the town center. This looks abandoned but there are lots of open businesses too. Cary Fest. They're gonna have a Cary Fest. This sounds fun. The first donation to this park was made by the Cary Community Fest. Seems like a lovely place to grow up. It just says Cary on it, a farmer's market. So probably, hopefully, most of you know by now that Sam has a history series on the history of Halloween Horror Nights and a whole video on Cary, Ohio. I do. So it's cool to actually go to the real one. Yeah, and it's really pretty here, right? Yeah, really pretty, and the weather's so nice. It really is. Yeah. If you're a really big fan of Halloween Horror Nights, just seeing this, it's kind of like seeing like a filming location of a show you really like or a movie you really like. It's just neat to see it, even though it's just a lovely town here in Ohio. It's fictional representation has so many memories for us and future cool things too, hopefully. It's neat. Plus, it's just a charming, lovely town. Lots of cars and activity everywhere. Here's a little chamber of commerce. I'm just gonna pop in and see if they're even there. Nope, door was locked. Even though there's a lot of cars, we're not seeing a lot of people actually out. But these are cute, pretty houses. Beautiful. This is the Basilica and National Shrine of Our Lady of Consolation. It's a place of pilgrimage, and the original shrine church began construction in 1868. And this is a national shrine. Off the side of the road, there's this really cool stone marker that says, Welcome to Cary, established 1858. And we just gotta get a picture with it. Look at the light in front, that means it's lit up at night too. So next time you're at Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Orlando Resort, and you notice a house, a scare zone, or a character with any type of Cary, Ohio backstory. Look, the wind is, oh my gosh, it knows. It knows, you will know that that iconic town name is a real town, a beautiful little town here 
in Ohio that was established in 1858. The trees are blowing because they know that we are here. It's saying hi to us. Hello, Cary, Ohio. Beautiful trees and wind. It smells really good, by the way. Very fresh, very pine tree. You'll know that this is it, so it's pretty cool. Okay, time to get back on the road. traveling through Ohio. We stopped a few times. We drove through farm roads, a lot of farms. We saw a lot of things. We stopped for dinner. I didn't even add that in the video because we just stopped at an Outback because we were just hungry. We did load up on groceries before leaving. We've been kind of mixing eating like our own food that we bring with eating food at the parks too. So tomorrow's a big day, a big exciting day day visiting a long anticipated amusement park a very popular one i'm sure you know by now because we're in sandusky ohio and we're very very excited so we're gonna get a good night's sleep i'll see you for the next video from there hopefully if all goes well and uh yeah thank you guys so much for traveling with us i know these like in between travel day videos are sometimes just very different and sometimes weird but hey that's part of being on the road sometimes i make a video of them sometimes i don't and today I did. So thanks for being here with us for it. Sending you all a ton of love. See you for the next video. I, I just said that as like one more. See you for the next video. And until then, as always, stay enthused. Bye.